Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've hung out with me before. Hi, I'm Rachel. And yes, I know, a new background. Shocker. So, <laughs> with this new background, we are continuing our Disney Animated Features series, and I'm so excited. Um, I feel like I say that a lot on this channel in general. <laughs> um, but that's because I love Disney, I love Disney movies, and we're on movie number 26, The Great Mouse Detective. But before I get into this movie, this very underrated <laughs> movie, um, I just want to take a second to say thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means everything to me and then while you're at it make sure you hit the little notification bell that way you can stay up to date on everything if you hear any weird noises it is the cat kaya um she's like my new little roommate <laughs> so if you hear or see anything strange in the background it's her um she likes to hang out with me so it's sweet She's very sweet. All right, so let's get into movie number 26. So The Great Mouse Detective was released July 2nd, 1986. And I have some cool little facts that I saved to my phone, so don't mind me while I read them. Um, as much as I'm pretty good at memorizing things, I wanna make sure I give you guys the right information on these facts. Um, so that's why I have my phone here. So I want to start talking about the title of this film and kind of like the funny story behind it because this is something I found out was pretty interesting and it kind of made me laugh um, when I was doing my research. So it was actually the vice president of Walt Disney Feature Animation, Peter Schneider, who decided to change the title to The Great Mouse Detective. Um, originally it was going to be called Basil of Baker Street. Um, and so when that happened, there was an inner office memo sent around um, to Disney employees uh, announcing, and it was kind of a joke, it was announcing that um, the studio was going to be renaming all of the Disney classics. Um, so for instance, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves would now be called Seven Little Men Help a Girl. Um, Fantasia was going to be called Color and Music. The Jungle Book was being changed to A Boy, A Bear, and A Big Black Cat. Um, and just, you know, kind of went through the list of all the Disney classics and changed the name um, as a joke. So I just think that it's kind of funny that they decided to play that joke. Schneider, on the other hand, was not so happy about it. Um, he was actually very mad when the memo went out. Um, and he actually tried to find the author of the memo um, so he could fire them. But every employee, all the employees kind of stuck together. They didn't say who wrote it, who sent it out. Um, so no one was fired. With the mentioning of Basil of Baker Street, um, the reason his name is Basil, um, he's named after Basil Rathbone, who actually played Sherlock Holmes in 14 different films. So that is why in this movie, our detective mouse is named Basil. So if you've seen this movie, then you'll probably remember this little scene, um, like a little musical number, the Let Me Be Good To You um, little musical segment. Well, it was actually almost cut um, because even though it's like a shorter scene, um, the lyrics in some of the animation was considered too risque uh, for a Disney animated family film. The animators avoided a PG rating and actually got to keep the scene by kind of arguing that this thing, this scene was a cabaret song and it's harmless and because of the character singing it is animated um, and not an animated human, an animated mouse, um, you know, it's not questionable. So 
the people kind of censoring the film decided, okay, that's a fair argument, it can stay. And I'm kind of glad because it is like a fun little scene and, you know, they're in a pub and I don't know, it just kind of makes sense <laughs> that that would probably be going on. Now, moving on to some Easter eggs I thought were really cool. Um, the first one is Bill the Lizard from Alice in Wonderland. Um, he can actually be found in the bar scene, so that same scene that I was talking about with the cabaret song going on. He can actually be seen there. And then another Disney character makes a little appearance in this film. Um, Dumbo is actually featured as a toy figurine in the toy shop scene. And last but not least, I found this one really cool. Um, that I never caught until researching it and looking it up. Um, when Basil is looking for a map in his apartment, he unrolls one and um, it's very, very quick, which is probably why I've never really seen this little Easter egg, but um, he unrolls one really fast and um, it just looks like a regular like map, treasure map. Um, but one of the locations on the map actually says downtown Burbank. Um, which I thought was pretty cool because that is where Disney worked. That's, you know, where his studios were and everything. And so I thought that was kind of cool that they decided to add that in there for something so short and quick. But that's Disney for you, right? So those are just some, you know, fun little facts and Easter eggs and things. And now moving on to my thoughts about this very, very underrated Disney movie. So I grew up watching this. Um, it was one of my mom's favorites, so we watched it a lot. Um, I, you know, I I really love it for that reason, and then also it is a good movie. With that said, I hadn't actually like sat down and watched it in a long time, um, so it was nice to actually get to do that, and I still really enjoyed it. It was really fun to watch. Um, and then I was really surprised because I thought like maybe it was kind of one of those like movies where not a lot of people loved it and there were like a select few people who actually enjoyed this movie, this Disney movie. Um, but actually I was really surprised that while looking at like reviews and things, a lot of people feel the same way I do where they really, really love this movie. They love the characters, the story, um, just everything about it. And they all believe that it's very underrated too. I adore all of the characters they just add so much to this story in the film i love dawson and basil and their relationship and um you know their banter back and forth i love olivia she is so sweet so cute um and her relationship w with dawson and basil is just very very sweet and I, I just I love the three of them kind of working together and what they all bring to their group and to the Great Mouse Detective movie and then Radigan is the perfect villain he is so scary and just mean looking and cruel and everything that a Disney villain should be. And then of course he has his perfect comedic and creepy sidekick Fidget who brings a little bit of lightheartedness but is also definitely on the creepier side of sidekicks too. He's a villain sidekick of course so. And then Toby the dog is a cute addition. Um, Olivia's dad is wonderful um the queen to you know just everybody all the characters just kind of all bring something to this film and it's really fun and very enjoyable and i love them all and i love this movie <laughs> with that said that is the great mouse detective i'm gonna give it four mouse ears because i really enjoy it you know a lot of other people out there enjoy it um, it's super underappreciated and more people <laughs> should watch it, talk about it. There should be some merchandise too for it because I would certainly wear it to the parks. Um, so yeah, four mouse ears. 
and obviously for sentimental reasons too. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do it. It is so helpful. Um, and then you get to kind of stay up to date on videos that I'll be posting. And oh, hit that notification bell because YouTube doesn't always tell you when new videos are out unless you have that little notification bell on um and then if you like this video if you like the great mouse detective go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then comment below um tell me what you like about this movie or if you are one of those that don't like the movie i would love to hear your reasons behind it um so yeah let me know in the comments below and i will see you in the next video and in the meantime have a beautiful magical wonderful day Mwah.